Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another James E. Tech YouTube video. In this video, I'll be sharing some of my tips on how to actually succeed in an IT help desk role. From having two years of experience in IT help desk, I'm going to be sharing some of my tips if you're someone going into your first IT help desk role or someone who is even interested in IT and wondering some of the traits that you may want to have before stepping into your first role. Like I said, this won't be going over how to actually get a job, but it's more so what to do when you're on the job or some traits that you want to learn before actually getting a job before we get into it if you guys are new here and you do enjoy this content make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new jmt tech content and let's get right into it so the first trait that you must have and i believe this is one of the most important things not only for the help desk role but for any job or also any it job any customer facing job you're going to need this and you probably guessed it is customer service skills you need to develop strong customer service skills, especially if you're a technical person because I'm not going to lie, nowadays a lot of people are very introverted when you first start in IT. Communication skills will take you a very long way in IT help desk because not only do you have to explain things in layman's terms, which pretty much means you have to dumb down technical things, which is a, obviously a great thing to do to, for customers because you don't want to talk about IP addresses, networking in front of someone who has no idea what you're talking about. You want to talk about the problem in a way that they will understand it. Communication skills doesn't just stop at the customer facing parts of your job it also has to do with you interacting with your fellow employees or your bosses you know or potential clients if you like are doing sales or let's say you're an external help desk where you have to go to external clients so communication can be anything from your co-workers your bosses external clients things like that so having communication skills in IT will take you a very long way because if you have colleagues asking questions is one of the best things that you can do one it sets you, sets you up for success and two you're learning from someone who has way more experience than you if you didn't have those communication skills or you're more introverted you might not ask those certain questions you might even have more trouble trying to solve certain tasks because you're not getting the help that you need. On the flip side of that, if you are talking to a customer and you're not able to properly communicate the problem or you're not really showing any like empathy towards the person, you're kind of like seem sort of annoyed or neglective of the customer, they're really not going to be happy with you. Communication skills really just takes time and effort, to be honest. It's really hard. Um, a good way to get customer service skills is getting some sort of retail job or, you know, working at a fast food restaurant. I, I did that before I worked in IT. Um, and I suggest a lot of people should probably do that before they get their first like office job or corporate job. I think working retail or some sort of customer facing job like that is very important because you know how to satisfy customers and actually, actually talk to people because you talk to hundreds of people a day at those types of jobs. So I would strongly recommend that if you guys are thinking of getting in IT and you're just thinking of some of the ways and some of the skills that you might need in the future, that's somewhere I would start. Next thing I'm going to go over is staying calm under pressure. IT help desk can be very stressful. You'll have days where you have two tickets, You'll have days where you have 200 tickets. Sometimes things go down. Sometimes it's not even your fault. Sometimes you can't do anything about it. Staying calm under pressure is pretty hard, especially when you have certain customers that, you know, might be frustrated at you, things like that. But you honestly just have to understand their situation and how they're feeling and just kind of take that in and say, hey, I can't really do much about how they're feeling, but I can, I'm going to try to resolve the issue or at least, you know, get a, get a resolution. And even if you don't know the answer, ensure the customer or customers that you are going to reach out to the proper parties to get the issue resolved. You're still the IT guy. You're still going to be the person who's getting all the questions, regardless if it is your technology or someone else's external technology, like a software that you bought from somebody. You always want to ensure the customers that you are working on it and that you guys are going to resolve it. Another huge tip is embrace that you don't know everything. You are not going to know everything. You're never going to know everything. You're never going to know everything in IT. It's just how it works. This is a very fast evolving field. So many things are evolving in technology. It is so hard to keep up um, and just embrace, just embrace Google, embrace AI sometimes, um, embrace that you don't know everything. Um, learning new skills on the job is one of the best parts of IT, in my opinion. I love learning while I'm working. I don't like doing repetitive things over and over again. And I believe, especially when you're starting out in IT help desk, you're going to learn a lot within that first month, two weeks, whatever it is, you're going to learn probably more than you have before that time. You know, anything that you learned before that, you're probably going to learn more within your first month of working. And what I'm trying to get at is that you're not going to know every question. You're not going to know every answer. And if you don't know, please don't panic and be like, oh, I'm so stupid. I, I should have known that. 
it's it's okay it's it you know there's google there's all kinds of things and a lot of free resources that you can use to resolve issues and you also probably have co-workers who have worked on similar issues and things like that just use your resources that's another tip that i didn't even include here but i'm also gonna say just use your resources don't don't just use this use your resources because sometimes this isn't always right so and with it help desk you have a ticketing system more than likely and these tickets usually will have some sort of service level agreement where it has to be closed or responded to or resolved within a certain time frame. So another thing that I will suggest is to learn how to prioritize certain tickets. I'm sure the company will will teach you how to prioritize, at least in their scenario. For example, a health company has different priorities than a bank or a tech company, things like that. So you got to learn a little bit about the company, what kind of tickets come in before prioritizing. But that's just something to keep in your head. Let's say you have an executive who's about to present in a meeting and the let's say their presentation isn't working then you have a ticket that's about a broken keyboard and they come in at the same time you obviously want to help out the ceo you know what i'm saying so you kind of it's a lot of common sense involved but you also got to think about uh business impact uh, how many people are impacted and the root cause of it and you know obviously how easy it is to solve all business impact is one of the most important parts of prioritizing you also want to listen to your your coworkers, and you also want to uh, follow whatever rules that you guys have at your job so I would ask questions about prioritizing if you actually start a job that's probably a really good question to ask is how you prioritize tickets now obviously if you're prioritizing tickets if you have a ticket that has been open for like a month you probably want to prioritize that because that should be closed so if you have a ticket that's been open for a very long time past your service level agreement that's also something you got to think about when you're prioritizing so before I go ahead and get into the last tip I have here, if you guys are wanting to get into IT and you don't want to go the traditional college route and you want to get a course that will teach you the basics, the uh, the practical skills of IT Help Desk and has testimonials of people taking the course and getting having success after the course, check out Course Careers. I'll have a link down in the description below where you can get a free module if you guys try it out. The course goes from everything from the fundamentals of IT to actually getting a job in IT. It teaches you how to make a resume. It gives you how to it tells you how to make a resume. It gives you a cover letter. It gives you the job execution uh, strategy, which pretty much is how you get a job and how you can track your job applications and following up things like that so if you guys want to check it out the link is in the description down below um, you'll get fifty dollars off if you use the link and you'll get a free module so why not try it out and yeah guys let's get into the last tip so the last tip i have here is be proactive and it help us with many problems especially in big corporations um this will apply the most is where you have like similar issues for example let's say the software has a bug that you're getting a ton of tickets about a day and you find a solution like you find a temporary solution versus a permanent solution let's say the permanent solution takes like 10 minutes longer to do but it'll fix 100 different tickets instead of one ticket that's something that you should do so think about not uh, i guess not scaling but more so think about the bigger picture if this is affecting multiple people don't fix it for one person see if you can fix it for everybody or maybe there's a patch in the software that you can push out to everybody that'll fix this issue so instead of fixing one person's issue try to fix everybody's issues if there if there is a issue that is like company wide or if it's like a software bug or things like that but yeah always be proactive and never really try not to implement temporary solutions that may break in the future or may be lazy um you always want to be proactive and find the root cause and make sure that the problem does not happen again so with that that is all of the tips i have as of right now if you guys have any tips please drop them down below i'm sure i missed some i'm sure i missed many tips for it help us i can go on forever uh, but please comment down below if you guys do have experience in help desk and have any other tips or if you disagree with some of my tips uh, please comment down below and if you guys do have any questions or any follow-up questions please feel free to comment down below i also have a discord server that uh, we have about 200 people in i'll have that in the description down below as well thank you guys for watching this is james e tech and i will see you guys next time Bye bye